everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Big news for anybody that is looking into the whole Nidhi Sanji thing. Uh, the concert, the concert that wasn't selling very well, that was not going to sell out, that was maybe going to be at 10% capacity, maybe 20% capacity of what the tickets that they wanted to sell, that one is no longer going to happen. It has been cancelled, or at least the concert part of it has been cancelled. This is directly from Nidhi Sanji, right here. They're saying, uh, important update regarding Nidhi Sanji Summer Jam and Welcome to the World. That was going to be showing at 6th and 7th on Peacock Theatre. We're incredibly excited to bring you our first ever 3D concert in North America. Recent developments have made it clear that creating optimal environment for the unforgiving experience for our fans and our livers is no longer feasible. What they mean by no longer feasible is remember how Niti Sanji said they're no longer going to be supporting their talents in, um, in Niti Sanji EN pretty much as in the sense of they're not factoring them into their growth. Uh, stuff and you know that Niti Sanji is all about growth. So when you don't get factored into growth, you don't get supported. Rest assured that the full refunds for the concert tickets will be processed. Details regarding the refund process will be announced on our official Discord accounts and all that kind of, all, you know, I mean, uh, Reddit accounts and everything like that. So here's what they're saying. They're saying uh, to ensure you can still enjoy support our livers, we will be live streaming the Summer Jam for free on our official YouTube channel. Now, I don't know what that means. My guess is that they're going to be just doing it kind of like the AR Live is my guess. Uh, Nidhi Sanji and official, all that kind of stuff. Same date on the same date, group and time. Everything's going to be the same, except it's going to be for free on their uh, YouTube channels. That is a positive step, but it's still a strange step that I don't fully understand why they don't do that. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that they weren't going to make any money. They were actually losing money on that. So they kind of did a cancellation, but there's probably a cancellation fee that they're going to have to pay anyways, because it's really close. A lot of these places have like a month ahead of time that you have to cancel in order for things not to be cancellation fees and such like that. It says full refunds for the concert tickets will be processed. They're working on doing, you know, appreciation posts and like all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's what they're doing. People are saying here, generally think they canceled because there wasn't enough ticket sales. Also, the part that you remember, they're not going to full, fully support EN anymore. Concert canceled, it'll be streamed on YouTube for free. The optics of a mostly empty theater must have been way too embarrassing for any color. It's probably it. Not surprised, at least in this development. A lot of people were expecting this. Negligible with Doki Bird, of course. Uh, and moving on to the VTuber subreddit to see what they're saying. EN survived the year. Who knows? I doubt it. At least not in their own branch. They'll be absorbed into the main branch, just like uh, ID and KR were. Uh, realistically, it could survive if they could continue the low effort merch and probably cut off a few events a year or two at best. But the merging is a pretty much an inevitability at this point. This is just a humanistic approach, a objective approach at everything. I do feel bad for Shuyamino and other people who weren't involved in any of the drama, but they did get their first 3D live with a live audience. A lot of them were going to have that, and they got it pretty much removed by Nidhi Sanji management, who was like, ah, this doesn't look good for us, so we don't care about you guys. We are just going to cancel it. Remember, you guys are peons in our little organization. We're just going to cancel it. And that's the sad part because Shuyamino is going to have, you know, going to have a lot of fun. He's one of the only ones in there besides, you know, Petra uh, and Rosami not having any kind of drama behind them. Uh, you know, Millie, Anna, Fanana, they all have their drama. Luca, uh, Sunny Briscoe also doesn't have any drama as far as I know. And Uki had drama. So I do feel bad for them. Consequence of the company's decisions. Nothing can be done about it unless he leaves for greener pastures uh, or take the brunt of Nidhi's karma like the others. No offense, but I don't see him doing any live concerts anytime soon. No offense taken. Honestly, also completely agreed. If he wants to do something that he wants, like a live concert, that type of thing, get into another organization or move on for yourself. You know, that type of stuff. Uh, this person saying used to watch a lot of Shu in the past, like early 2023. Shu is a very idle minded liver. I feel like his passion is singing and performing. Just being on stage, he's a very talented person, which means, you know, again, it's a shame. I feel like after what Niji Kudo said about what they're handling in EN, from now on, plus the cancellation, opportunities of stage performances will become less and less. I feel like he would knock it out of the ballpark if it had a chance like Usan or anyone else to be their own independent VTuber and be idol oriented. I think it would work very well for him. I agree. Uh, Niji had events after events in short time span in a few months. Even diehard fans would have a trouble forking out the money. That's probably what ended up happening. Even their uh, large whales wouldn't able to do it. And that moves on to another part where I feel bad. 
Um, I genuinely feel bad for anyone like this who went to AX only for the concerts. An inconvenience is an understatement. There are people like me who bought plane tickets, booked hotels, and during the weekend and only bought an AX ticket because they were forced to it because, you know, Annie Expo says if you want to go to the concert, you have to buy at least one AX ticket. Doesn't have to be on the day, but at least one. I really don't like how any color does this. I don't like that. Um, it just down here, people are saying I'm like a, a joke. I spent so much money on the flight ticket hotel. Now you told me the concert ticket is canceled. I bought an AX ticket because it requires one to enter the concert. Who will be responsible for refunding that? It's so ridiculous. Do I miss something? The, can't do the live concert. What what happened? So weird. Think any other concert? I've never encountered anything like this before. You know, making fun of it. And it's just the numbers. The numbers weren't good. It's uh for fan safety. Let me be real with you. Have you seen how much tickets they sold? Seeing the underwhelming reception from the fans is probably why they decided to do it, of course. But it feels bad for fans like this. A seven fan. This seven fan is one of the people I feel bad for. I truly do. Just on an objective standpoint. Of course, every needy sister, please avert your eyes. Oh my God, it's gonna be insane. Look at. Don't don't look. Don't look. You're going to have a conniption fit if you look. How live sore gold uh, anime NYC tickets are live and they're gone. Sore gold ticket, si silver tickets, the bronze tickets, and the general admission tickets. General admission is actually not even that bad. The sore gold tickets, good for seating within our gold section, which are really close, you know, to have better view. The first seating group must be lined prior to loading to have guaranteed seating, which is, of course, what you want if you're going to be paying that much. You want guaranteed seating and you want to be able to sit in the front. This is why you must have high internet and speed, good connection, drink coffee, sacrifice your sleep schedule. Uh, Sakana coffee. This reminds me what happened in Niji concert that I forgot the name already. Just asking for updates. It's sad to see, you know, basically this is what happened to their connect the world, their, their little, you know, a summer jam thing that they were trying to have. It didn't sell very well, so they canceled it. It was too late. Please tell me they'll restock. Hollow Life World Tour tickets already sold out. How much more than the Yen concert? All these sold out because King's Theater is not a huge theater, number one. Number one, they're not a huge theater. Number two, it's Hollow Life. So, of course, Hollow Life is going to sell out. And it's their pretty much their first, it is their first concert in NYC. They had a concert with Connect the World over here in Los Angeles on the West Coast, where I'm I'm located in the West Coast. So, they have they had it over here. And it sold out around one hour, 10 minutes. Note that there were some scuffs and tickets didn't show up for 10 minutes when the ticket went live. The line was also super slow. It took me an hour to get through to the ticket website. Gold, silver, and bronze were already gone. A few minutes later, GA tickets were all sold out. Couldn't know the seat capacity for this one. It's uh, the Hollow Save J24, Java Center, some of the special events hall, seats 3,800. Uh, now this, this is a true due to high demand. Pretty pricey, especially when you have to buy your way into the con as well. Here's a ticket price for Creepy Nuts comparison. Demand is just so high at this point, they're able to sell them at a premium, which filters out less hardcore fans who are known to be more pragmatic on things like that. So the hardcore fans are, of course, going to be be able to get these tickets. Of course, these, these, are, these are about normal for most large events that I've been to. So it's not totally you know out of, out of line and everything, but this is their World Tour 24 stage, World Tour 24. Kasatsuki, NYC, they're already sold out for those. Indonesia Comic Con, all those are going to be sold out more than likely whenever they sell. So that is that is the, what's going on. And that is amazing for Hollow Life. And I'm very happy that th they were able to get this. As we all know, Niji Sanji, along with Any Color and other people, joined a uh, defamation countermeasure study group or subcommittee for, um, you know, attacking defamation. Hollow Life does that, Cover does that, Any Color, etc. The parent companies do that. So it is basically... Of course, they deserve to be able to go against any defamation that hits them, of course. But the big issue here is that it just seems like they're just tagging along because it makes them look good. At least, you know, that's the public perception of it. It's one of those situations where they're damned if they do, they're damned if they don't. They didn't do it. They'll be like, why aren't you helping your livers, at least in JP spheres? Then they do do it. It's like, oh my God, you're just trying to pretend like you are helping your livers, etc. But um, any color technique is the biggest contributor and motivator to the defamation towards Zion. Yes, it was. <clears throat> And they also tried to do the same thing with Selen slash Doki. It didn't work with the Doki one, but it worked very well with Zion. Because Zion slash Sayu got mistreated very badly. And until now, they're starting to actually get some better treatment. And that is a long time. That is over a year it took them to start getting better treatment. To start getting seen as the person that they are today. It sucks. It really is unfortunate. But yeah, like, like this person says, like I said, damn if they do, damn if they don't. At this point, no matter what they do, it's going to look bad. In Japan, it's more of a PR thing, a warning against actual slander taking place. Outside of Japan, titles to no use. Any Color has filed several lawsuits to settle with the other party, monetary compensation, and other terms. In addition, Cover and Any Color Anti-Defamation Group is a check against defamation of VTubers in Japan. It's mostly a Japanese thing, of course. 
I doubtful that what they will do against slander from abroad not only early cutter but cover because slander and defamation are harder to prove over here abroad it's not necessarily that they won't be able to do it but it's going to be much harder for them to do it. here is somebody wanting to see the list of graduated energy livers so far for we know yugo awesome is unnamed Diane lanza is Cyrus synchronicity nina is matarakan mr rias is canine kudo Pomo rain puff is mint selen is doki bird kyo is quinn mika melatika is michimochi v bobo and his tension siska is on shannon and here is uh it is the list is a little bit dated various list posts from the Eurealistic remote and it says can't find any more mods probably deleted due to privacy reasons had a current person if lulu who was harassed so yeah basically a small list of graduated livers for those of you who are interested in that of course not everyone is interested in that nowadays it's less taboo than it used to be a year ago these type of lists were very taboo they were always removed it things have changed because people want to support the ex Nietzsche livers who maybe were their oshis and now that they're out and they want to support them which i agree with here we have Niti's sister coping <clears throat> Niti sandy coping whatever you want to call it um and here we have the sisters broke beyond coping and are not straight up losing it doki's forever in their in their head uh it says moved on by the way unable to move on and be her own person it's getting kind of sad pathological her next move will be meaning to saline or similar yeah they're losing it she really lets Niti sandy live rent free in her head no it's not that she just wants to retake everything and have it be herself with the with the you know the dragoons being there too this is what the traitor Zhang steals her own fan mate. Intro song, animation, same model, it's okay. But when Mika Neko does only one of these things, it's suddenly horrible and able to let go, make it make sense. See new model of Doki, solves and control be. meds don't have effect anymore. Praise for the Lyra Shrine, still left unanswered. Trembling, go into every Doki bird thread. With my very soul, trembling, I type. Moved on, by the way. Yeah, that's the thing that they freaking are, are saying. They're just, they are not moving on. They're the ones not moving on from any of this. What needed to complete my day? They can't get their dose of spicy ASMR from Vox or Hex anymore, so they suffer they suffer abstinence withdrawals, and they can understand, you know, hate it when people always put moving on and forgetting problems in the same category. Yes, she might have moved on completely, <clears throat> but moving on doesn't always equate to forgetting what happened and exactly what they did to you. Exactly, it's forever gonna be there. It's marked her in her in her life. She attempted twice because of it. It's gonna be a marker in her life. Moreover, they clearly didn't listen to what she said. She says she chose her new mama because she wanted to. She felt she didn't make her mama proud in the past, and she wanted to make her mama proud now, which is a very good sentiment to have. If you remember a previous video that I made on this whole topic, Aya eight one one is someone who did um, commission the skin suit battle BGM bounty hunter commissioned from Doki Bird music by Aya performed by the Budapest Scoring Orchestra which is amazing. Now they're going for, if the post hits 20K likes, they're going to compose an orchestral theme for Dragoons. Of course, so far, it's doing 10.4K views. It's going to be doing well. Let's, let's do our part. Let's do our part to make sure that it happens. And it's a challenge. Done my part with 20K members in the subreddit. It should be easy to get this challenge, which is already 18K out of 20. Not entirely sure. We need more people at this gas pedal to speed it up. Done my part. I already liked it a day ago. So yeah, you might get a uh, orchestral thing for the Dragoons which would be amazing. It'd be hilarious. It'd be funny. It'd be great. And of course, Aya811 did amazing job with the one uh, that they did for Doki Bird. An amazing job. So this one's going to be even better. A reminder for those that uh, did not see what my last video when it when it came to Hololive having big news, they are going to be going to Anime Expo and Japan Expo with Advent and Justice on the Halloween side. And they're going to have, of course, Good Smile Company here having a uh, panel with first Yago and the the CEO of uh, Good Smile Company on Saturday, July sixth, and also in Petri Hall, you're gonna have Fuamoko be there as well. Announcement: prizes, more in store. Just basically, they're gonna have a good time. Just to guess, more streamlined merch distribution, partnering with Good Smile so that they can decrease the delivery charge. As Cover admits, that's just one of their problems in terms of merch sales in the West. It's that um, basically their cover their charges are too high. Their facilities, like they're going to be moving to the U.S. to uh, streamline that as well partner with our existing company that have a base in target region it's very it's a very very good move kura nendo is i think the fastest to sold out at one point it's also not only thing covers ready for anime expo they will have a booth at the event they'll show updates on hollow earth they will show updates on everything else going on advent justice will also appear in japan expo a couple of days after anime expo so they're moving on like i said they're moving on to good things like i said they're moving on to good things and this means here that they are going to be doing some good stuff moving forward, you know, um, on this one. Like they're saying here, apparently it's not a head-on collision itself. They were going to be during the Summer Jam thing, but as we know, Summer Jam was canceled. But yeah, 
they're doing the cover is doing the correct thing and Nidisanji is just screwing over the Ian talents a little bit of meme culture happening here with you guys you know I always like putting some memes in here I know that hair <clears throat> it's Doctor Who it's well I know <laughs> it's not Doctor Who it's freaking Doki Bird but yeah I know that hair I know that hair anywhere it's Yujo Senki it's been the meme one of the most recent doc seasons of Doctor Who, Doctor Unexpectedly regenerates into one of his previous bodies, played by David Tennant. Instead of turning into a completely new person like he's supposed to when he dies, Doki did almost the same thing, so that's their little meme there. Mume gets over the tomato hate with Doki Bird's help. This is a little one right here. Moonsuke understand cherry tomatoes. Yes, oh bless his holy day. Uh, certain ones from a certain farm, they understand me. Oh, yep, that's Doki Bird. That's Doki Bird, only one from a certain farm. Right there, they understand me. And then, uh, you know... Bay continues with the with the it, the love. I wonder who. Don't read into too much and say it wants to read too much into it, but still it's it's a it's a meme. I'm taking it more as a meme than anything. And finally, the smugness is now in 4K. That smug face. Now she has a more expressive smug face. The old Doki smug face was amazing in and of itself, but now she has an even more expressive smug face, which is good for the dragoons. The dragoons be eaten well nowadays. Taking off a clip, upscaled and fixed illustrator on bad lines and bad artifacts. Shall name this face negligible. Exactly. Moving on to a bit of Sayu news. We have uh, Sayu will become a guest at Billy Billy World Expo. This is something directly from them. Sayu Synchronicity. This kind of leads credence to what a lot of people were, were thinking um, of the NOA uh, talent agency that she's going to be a part of. It's like an intermediary agency. It's like an MCN, like a network that you can join in order to be a part of Billy Billy and don't have to go through all the steps of joining Billy Billy. You can just do content for them and then you are already there. So that's that's what she's probably going to be going through. It says here, anything seems like to be kind of statement coming from a surprising part of the world. It seems like Nidhi Sandy's not doing well in relations when it comes to Billy Billy recently. I wonder if a lot of people complain about muted audio during the paid concerts. And she says, this year I'll be a virtual guest at Billy Billy World Expo right from July 11th to 13th. And I'm super excited and honored to meet more fans from across the world. Very good for her. Thank you for your synchronites for making all this possible. Congrats. I'm not only a huge fan of Billy Billy, but your happy synchronites will be happy. All those opportunities are 100% deserved. So you worked so hard. She did work very hard for getting what she got. Give it your best. Yes. Ha uh, keep collecting W, Sayu. Deserve only the best. Uh, it's going to go well. I think it's going to go well for her. And, you know, she deserves this kind of win. YUY has hit 50k subscribers. This is an amazing feat for anybody. Uh, she's been debuting this on YouTube this Friday and she's already hit 50k subs. So yeah, basically 50.5k subscribers. It's amazing feat for anybody to reach that number. It is great for her. She's mainly on a Twitch, I believe right here. That's her main stuff here. She last time two days ago, she gets a lot of views because she has 24.8k followers there as well. And people are saying caught most of her recent Twitch streams after being gone from a break, apparently. She's quite the character. I'm looking forward to seeing more of her. Her design matches her voice and personality perfectly. Silky smooth, but the silver over everything is like, if you touch her, she will scream. Uh, every story she has about her father is a goldmine. Basically, another good VTuber that um, is having a lot of fun and has having a lot of success, which is uh, absolutely praise the Yolt. Community jokes aside, she deserves it. Thought her community puts her through. She's a champ. She has the nicest ever voice, which she did ASMR, but then, you know, YouTube ASMR, oh my god, that wouldn't be good. But yeah, congratulations to YUY. You, I'm guessing it's probably the way it's spelled. Thank you so much. And yeah, I'm glad that she has this. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.